God damn this this vile this vile hobo Tom refuses to acquiesce to my most basic requirements for I am the one and only see that should sound better. Can't believe that hobo hasn't acquired better things right now for the lighting in this lighting in my office as you can tell by my various degrees and achievements find me one the learned i am dr tom i am here to talk a little bit about the professional wrestling and the goings-ons so yeah for let me acquire my notes and my advanced statistical references so i can most more accurately predict what is going to happen this Saturday at that vile hobo. Actually, might not, might miss a little bit. But again, I'd like to thank everyone for watching this, this, this fine wrestling program. For give me a proper introduction. Yes, again, we have degrees, lighting, and behind me, of course, shall duck out the way you have some of the finer liquors that the country of the Jutland has to offer. For I'm here to talk about NXT TakeOver, for people who truly enjoy professional wrestling and appreciate the fine art of grappling, shall watch. Of course, this can only be seen on NXT TakeOver, although their use of Roman numerals in this instance is intriguing, to say the least. For it is TakeOver 30 in Roman numerals, that is X, X, X. Although as some of these less civilized people understand that it's triple X, of course, that is when men and women degrade themselves for this is not that this is wrestling the grappling at its highest most professional of levels yes so let me get on with the least probably the first thing for the a ladder match for the united states championship that has been vacated by the most noble keith lee because again he did not want to hold people back. He wants to elevate the world of wrestling. He does not want to hold it down or make it a clown show like people with neck tattoos do. Ugh. Most vile people. But, so in our first contest, we shall have Bronson Reed. Oh, big, strong, beefy man. Taking on Damian Priest versus Cameron Grimes, a gentleman of the South, versus one whose name should not be spoken for as his misdeeds and potential mistakes, and as well as for eyeing the love interest, the potential love interest of one Hobo Tom. Still remember that. The Velveteen Dream. And one, Jonathan Gargano. These matches are oh so difficult to predict. So many moving pieces. The, the ladder itself plays an intricate role in the setting of this. For many a time the ladder has turned. Just ask John Mercury. On the people that wish to use it as a prop. So the ladder itself is its own character. But I say Cameron Grimes knows how to use that ladder and shall apply it to its best use and he shall become the United States champion. And in this athletic endeavor for this most noble feat will be my 
match of the night. And then the ladies enter the gladiatorial squared circle as Io Shirai takes on Dakota Kai. <laughs> oh, Dakota Kai. Silly rabbit. Tricks are for kids. Dakota Kai still has, even though very accomplished by her own rights, she has yet to fully comprehend the art of grappling and joint manipulation. For Io Shirai shall retain her woman's title in my stone cold lock. Then, probably a match that hopefully will air when that hobo's not here. We have Adam Cole, Bay Bay, boom, taking on Pat McAfee, a puncher, person who, who spends his life playing professional football, protecting his side of the field by trying to make accurate kicks and pinning opponents into positions that do not favor un, into unfavorable positions or unfavorable field positions i'm somewhat intrigued by this but not that much though i will take a nap during this match because adam cole bay bay boom will win again no one's going to see because everyone's going to be taking a nap And then finally we have oh bask in his glory oh bask in his glory keith lee taking on the most nefarious carrying cross with that charlatan that that Harlot, dare I say. Which? Scarlet Bordeaux in his corner for using the fireball, most dastardly of all heel tricks, used to maim and to blind one his opponent. Oh. But sometimes the bad person wins. Bad things happen. Karrion Cross shall become the next NXT champion. And those are my predictions for NXT, a very valued, much more contest based wrestling program. And I'd like to thank you the viewers for watching this fine program please like share comment and subscribe and i fear that the next person you will see will be even even more disgusting more vile more downtrodden than hobo tom el vagabundo whatever he calls himself so let us take a little break i shall remove myself from the setting but i shall of course provide myself with one of the finer beverages that oh hola everyone it is i the one the only el vagabundo dos hobo Dos, hijo dos, hijo dos, si, 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 and I'm here because the most generous, Senor Hobo Tom, 
invited me to do a wrestling show for he had to go do something. He had to go hobo. He has to make money somehow. But I am here to talk about SummerSlam. Unf I do have some unfortunate bad news. They've postponed Triple Mania. Why? Why? Well, I know why. See. Break, break, break. But wait a second. Hit la music. So I am here to give some predictions and a little bit better than a bad guess as to what's going to happen come this Sunday for Summer Slam. Slamo del Summer. C. So I have no idea what match order these are going to be in, nor do I know if the WWE pulls a fast one and adds something. I do not think that El Hobo, that Senior Hobo, will be here for the whole show. But that's okay, because you'll still have my predictions. So I have no idea what matches these are going to start in. Let's take a wild guess. Let's say the Street Profits take on Angel Garza and Andrade with Zelina Vega. Oh, muy caliente. Um, my predictions. The Street Profits are going to retain those belts. Something fishy is going on between Senior Garza and El Idolo. So the Street Profits retain their championships. Next, we'll probably have... Oh, that makes sense. There you go either way. Sasha Banks versus Asuka. Because nobody is ready for Asuka. Sasha Banks will not be ready for Asuka either. Asuka defeats Sasha Banks. Indeed. So we'll see what happens. here so that's just a normal match then she needs a little break break then we'll probably have a paul cruz versus mb mvp for the united states championship mvp is going to finish this feud prove that he can work without the hurt business a paul cruz retains unfortunately no one will be able to know because this is the match everyone's probably going to sleep through because this is going to be the snooze nap of the night. Oh wow, I didn't realize this card was relatively women heavy. Bien. And then we have Mandy Rose versus Sonya Deville in the Cabelas v Cabelas match. Or for those that don't know Spanish, or don't know bad Spanish. That means it's going to be a hair versus hair match. This could be muy interestado. Or interesting. Again, if you don't know bad Spanish. Interestado is interesting. Um, nothing worthy though. Mandy Rose is a winner. She gets to shave the head. Of the villainous Sonya Deville. Mandy Rose wins. Then we get into some of the more interesting matches. Probably next we'll have Dominic Mysterio. Also, he might go by I think they have teased his his luchador name as Prince Mysterio. Oh, Ricochet, who was at one time, was once the great Prince Puma. Might not be too happy about that. But then when he showed up or would wrestle, he would always be King Ricochet. So who knows? But I say, and so Dominic, Prince Mysterio, 
takes on Seth Rollins. Rudo. All in this with Ray, the great Ray Mysterio being ringside. Dominic Mysterio wins. He retains his family's honor, the tradition of the Luchadores and Luchadores. And Dominic Mysterio wins. Then, let's see here. Pro probably, who? Oh, text on Messijo. Oh, yep. For C, for she saw the picture I posted of the man of international mystery. Wait a second. That looks like me. But enough about that. Um, Braun Strowman taking on The Fiend. The Fiend. With Sister Alexis Abigail will win. Yes. And this is also going to be my stone cold lock. And then we go back to Asuka, the Empress of Tomorrow. For after defeating Sasha Banks, she's now Asuka One Belt. But now she's also going to take on Bailey. And my prediction is that we shall have Asuka Dos Belts. C C C. Bien, 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 as Dr. Wagner would say. Dr. Wagner Jr. would say. Um, so Asuka is going to defeat, defeat Bailey, and it's going to Asuka is going to hold both belts. This will lead up to something, hopefully with Shayna Baszler. That could be good. Maybe even Nia Jax. Although I think. Eventually, they might put all the belts on Asuka. And then for payback, have Asuka and Shayna Baszler team up. Shayna gets jealous. We So many possibilities. And then... Oh, this is going to be good. See, see, see. The... Main event of the evening, my match of El Noche, the night. It's going to be Drew McIntyre versus Randy Orton. Randy Orton's up to something, and Ric Flair is a mean, dirty old man. Somehow, by some means, Randy Orton's going to win the WWE Championship from Drew McIntyre. Mainly, I think, because... Well, two reasons. Well, one, Ric Flair is going to show up. That's a given. And dos... They, Drew McIntyre won the belt in an empty arena. It's good. But if you have a crowd there... Oh, that could be even better for Drew McIntyre to win that belt. Randall Orton is a very fine transitional championship. So again, Randy Orton wins. But again, this is my match of El Noche. And that's all for predictions. For I am the one, the only... El Vagabundo Hijo del Hobo Trace. And I shall see you um, later. No mas. Bye.